Hey guys, hope you're all well. Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius for September 2021. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. So with it being a love reading, I'm either reading for yourself or for your love interest. So the one that's on your mind. Okay, so if the reading resonates, then that's awesome. If it doesn't resonate, then it's just simply not your message. So please use your own discernment. Okay. And kind of just flip the rolls, etc. So anyway, guys, let's see what's going on for Sagis, for Sagittarius, for, <laughs> for September 2021. Okay, I know we have only got a few days left, but um, I thought I would just do another love reading for you guys. Uh, I had to wait until after the full moon, though, because that was a bit crazy. <laughs> anyway, guys, <laughs> let's have a look and see what's going on for Sagis. Okay. Ooh, okay, interesting. The Empress in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse. Ooh, no, that was a mess, so let's keep going. Okay, Eight of Swords in reverse. Ooh, Devil in upright. Two more for Sagittarius. Was that two? Yes, it is two. Okay. Four of Cups in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, okay. Five of Cups, Ten of Wands in reverse, okay. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, um, with the Empress in reverse, a Capricorn here with the Devil energy. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here with the um, Eight of Swords in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here with the Six of Wands, um, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Um, we also have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy with the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, so either you or your person, okay, um, are going through it right now, especially here with this potentially this devil energy. Um, they're feeling a bit um, out, of, out of the cold, like they missed out. They missed out on a major opportunity. Um, I'm getting they missed out on opportunity with you um, and I'm really getting the sense that they may have feel like you were the one that kind of slipped away and now you're kind of off celebrating your life and that you've dropped the baggage and the baggage was potentially them and you've moved on away from not feeling heartbroken anymore to do with this particular love connection I'm getting okay um, I'm also getting the sense that um, this person, they may be wanting to come back towards you and extend some sort of message about potentially working together, but, um, or if they're not working together with you, that potentially they want to communicate to you that they've been in another situation, a karmic situation, potentially, dealing with someone who is very cold, very manipulative, and may have held them back away from communicating with you, and they want to move on from that because they're not feeling satisfied in their cell in themselves in their in their life and that they want to be able to move on from it okay but they definitely feel like they've missed an opportunity with you so obviously please take however this particular message resonates okay so if this doesn't pertain to you your love interest may have been in a long-term relationship with someone else and um, there was a lot of uh, codependency, um, a lot of jealousy. I'm getting the sense that um, there may have even be, been infidelity at one point. If they were in a long-term situation, they could have been with a, a karmic or a baby mama, baby daddy type thing. And um, they had children with this person. And potentially, they're having the realisation that this situation, um, if they had stayed in it, was, was not good. And that if they were in this relationship, they're gaining clarity now after a period of time where they may have been very confused and potentially very trapped in their head for quite some time and may have felt like they've been at a loss and were unsure about how to move on forward. But now they're getting the, the clarity that they can choose to change their life. And they want to change their life by moving forward towards you, but you may be not having any none of it. Um, especially if this person previously um, was a bit egotistical, um, potentially dragged you in a third party situation that you may not necessarily have been aware of. 
and found this um, really quite devastating. But this person is feeling regretful. Whatever way that this can kind of resonate, they are feeling very um, unloved right now. They're feeling unloved and feeling abandoned and they feel that potentially your heart is not in it anymore with them and that you've moved on away from them. I'm getting that. But predominantly this person is realising that they missed out on a good thing by staying in something else um, and predominantly there was not very much going on with this other connection like there may have just been like financial dependency I'm getting or codependency and they may be going through if there's any legal situation they may be going through um, a divorce or some sort of um, huge kind of separation to do with a settlement I'm getting and this this person's realizing that they want to get out of whatever that they've been in or that what they have been in has been of no good to them and you know potentially they may have really hurt you they may have hurt you and given you the wrong impression um, about their particular situation in their life they may have not been openly very honest they may have been hiding a few things potentially from you and then you may have found out um, I'm getting the sense like you may have got some sort of intuitive nudge or you found out that um, that something wasn't feeling necessarily right and your gut instinct was right. It was telling you to kind of move on and to go and kind of find your friends and your close circle and people who are going to really support you to kind of let go of any burdens that you may have been through. But this person needs to let go of this as a burden if they are dealing with someone in order to um, have a connection with you this is another message okay so what I'm feeling is that they want to get to a point that they're going to they want to get to a point or where they will be getting to a point where they're going to ditch this other relationship because they've gained this particular clarity that it's not it's not right it's not good for them and they want to be able to move on out of it for definite and especially here with the six of wands in reverse you know they they want you and them to find common ground with each other they want you to fix whatever drama that there was previously between you any confusion they're getting to the point where they're realizing where they may have avoided particular issues in your connection um but they're getting basically they're getting judged on that and it's like whatever has gone around is coming back around for this person and there's been a lot of illusions to do with this connection or whatever connection that they have been in there's been a lot of mystery in relation to this but there's absolutely like without a shadow and a doubt this person's been keeping their head in the sand like just hoping and praying that everything will kind of eventually wash away when it doesn't work like that they just they they just want to move on away from that they want happiness in the celebrations but they need to finish off another cycle before they're able to do that and they they can't do that until they they sort themselves out by leaving something else but potentially I'm getting the sense this person may have a big ego, a big ego, right? A big ego. And they may have been very tempting to go towards previously. And you you may be very tempted or your person's very tempted to come forward towards you. But then they would definitely cause even more chaos and more drama. And I don't feel like that is something necessarily that you, you want any more of or any in your life whatsoever. And it's getting to this point where like you've got to the point where you're realizing like I don't just want to accept I don't want to accept any kind of um bad relationship I don't want to accept it I'm not going to be used by by you or anyone else I'm going to move on and work for myself um so work my work for myself I'm getting that so potentially you could be trying to make your own money um with a business or something or some sort of project or endeavor and that could be something you're focusing on rather than this like love 
relationship or situationship or whatever you want to call it or potentially even a love triangle I'm getting that there's just been really confusing there's been just too much that has been hidden that hasn't been shown of as of yet and potentially your person may have lied or they've been lied to or they've even lying to themselves which is adding on to this additional heartbreak there may have been previously yeah look at this they want to be able to come out of the dark and see the brighter end of the tunnel but potentially they may not be of a place to do that as of yet whatever lies they have may have told or whatever's been going on there's gonna be something coming to light there's gonna be it's gonna be exposed and we kind of get that potentially here with the ace of wands so if there has been an affair of sorts or a, a love triangle or a secret uh, rendezvous i'm getting it's gonna be shown it's gonna be coming out to light and you're gonna find out about it and um and it may may question your kind of trust with this person or another situation or it's gonna trust they're gonna have to try to um it's gonna test their trust with this other person which i don't feel there's very much of right now the other message i'm getting is potentially this person may feel really regretful that if they were in another relationship or they are in another relationship somebody tried to trap them with a, a child and maybe they've um going through some sort of unwanted there's a pregnancy that you may not know of um and potentially that may be something that's been trying to be kept quiet. And so there's something's going to be shown to light for definite. And they don't want it to be they don't want it to be seen. Something doesn't want to be shown out. But it's going to be it's going to be revealed. OK, so anyway, guys, let's just have a look and see what's going on with the island time wellness love oracle cards broke up the deck look at that mask and axe not showing true feelings high personify pretend delude gaslight break up the pattern separation stop the pattern wow so yeah somebody's definitely wearing a mask here and i said it's going to be revealed um oof. But yeah, they, um, I'm getting the sense there could have been a third party for definite, a third party situation. What's going on here for Sagittarius? Well, that was the options card, wanted to come out. It's too many. Yeah, look at that. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. So there's a controlling relationship. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. You know, um, you may have felt stabbed in the back by this person or potentially your person's been stabbed in the back by someone else. And they're getting to see their true colours eventually. And it's getting to the point where they want to release themselves from this unhappy relationship and eventually come forward towards you to reconcile, to collaborate with you. If you'll have them, they're saying. If you'll have them or if you'll meet them halfway or if you'll kind of talk to them. But they definitely want to free themselves from an unhealthy relationship. But potentially they may have... Yeah. Yeah, they've gone through a lot photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories yeah they're definitely looking at your pictures they're fantasizing daydreaming about kind of being with you maybe because you've transformed yourself completely with this phoenix energy like you've just changed you're you're growing and you're realizing that you know what you're worth and you're celebrating your life and now potentially you're going to have a load of suitors who are going to be coming forward towards you because you've healed yourself in a particular way. Engagement ring. Partnership. Engagement. Commitment. Eternity. Completion. And union. 
Yeah, this person, look at this. They're in separation from you. Sadness missing you, thinking of you, yearning, unsure of the future. Well, they're unsure of their future, but you may not be so unsure of your future. And potentially this person, they're trying to finish off whatever they want to finish off or need to finish off to come towards you, but you may be like not having any of it. Yeah, look at that. They want to be in a separation. Look, separation from the girl with the snake. Empath, narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable and boundaries. They want to separate themselves from this other situation to be able to come forward towards you, to give you a call. Look at this. To give you a call to say that they want to see you. They're thinking of you and things coming to light, adapting, changing and healing to bring abundance in. And it will kind of all come in time with wanting to share love. But potentially you may be moving on. You could be divine counterparts here with a twin flame energy. But I'm not really, I'm not sure if I feel that. Um, but you could be with this empress here, but it could be just a karmic cycle of sorts. But I, I'm not getting that. Wedding ring. This looks, we've got engagement ring and now wedding ring. Union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Yeah, maybe this person, I mean, you know, maybe they may even try to trap you with a baby and an engagement so that you don't leave them. But they're heartbroken. They're sad in the separation from you, feeling lost, grieving. They may even be grieving for you because you've been moving on. But they, they want to be able to come forward towards you and offer you something. But you may be like, the relationship's now over. There's no second chances. Grow and transform your life. So you may have moved on from that. But yeah, they all they want to do is send you kisses. And then they want to send you kisses. But they need to ascend. Or potentially you're ascending. To be able to move on forward in, in your life. Making healthier choices. They need to make healthier choices in their life, but also in your life. Um, so that you can move on forward but potentially this person may still be wearing a mask so this could be relatively difficult and you may just have to move on away from them separately and just kind of get to do your own thing so what's going on with the romance angels by drawing virtue yes yeah, that nine of swords again yeah, definitely healing yourself. Somebody's trying to make plans to come back towards you. Yeah, for a, a reunion, but you may not be so trusting of this. And then free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So, and then trust that things are working out for you. What's going on here? Sagittarius. Express your love. Came out reverse. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, you've completely pulled up, pulled back. Or either that, whoever they've been with is not expressing love anymore. And they want to have an engagement with you. We've got engagement ring and wedding ring. And they want that with you. But you may be choosing to, when they come back around, you may be like, okay, well, I'm going to love myself first. And there's too much mess that's been going on or too much has been happening. And you may just decide, look, I'm... Self-respect makes me more romantically attractive and potentially you will have options. Pay attention to the red flags and religious factors. The signs are cautioning you and your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And then we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. So, you know, this person may be lying but then maybe they're lying to themselves or maybe you're lying to yourself or this other person is lying to them but whoever and whatever there's definitely something underhanded going on that's not quite right and i broke up the deck and i just saw free yourself again so potentially you may be just deciding look i'm going to free myself now i don't usually do this but i just feel the need to just clarify this devil here so i'm just going to pull one card like i don't usually do this so but I just felt the need. I just feel like there's something that's not quite clear here. And I want you guys to have the clarity. What's going on with this devil? Why is the devil here for Sagittarius? 
Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the devil here? Oh, four of ones. One more. Nine of Swords. This person may be tempting you for a new offer, but they don't have it. They don't. They don't have the solid foundation to back it up. They don't. They won't have the time to nurture a relationship. They may come forward towards you with some sort of offer and say to you, "It's gonna bring all the stability, etc., that you are been looking for." And they're gonna do what they say and they're going to do. But there's gonna be some. The sun's going to be shining upon this particular situation. The, the sun is going to come through and you may see the light. And potentially this person... This person may be just trying to take advantage of your good nature. I'm getting... And this, this whole thing may be just stressing you out completely. Because you may have felt stuck or unsure what to do. Like you feel like you're just stuck in a bad cycle and just feeling heartbroken from the whole thing, but you will be able to let go of uh, get let go from let go of it and this person and move on forward in a new enlightenment. Wow, what's this Empress in reverse here? I just feel the need to, and I just saw the Nine of Swords with the Ten of Cups, so you may be just caught like confused a bit, like. Oh, are they just selling me a pipe dream? This is all just been selling me a dream. And you know, it's all going to be sun and roses and you're going to have this beautiful reunion. But potentially you may feel like, oh, they're just taking good ca like, care of my nature. Like they're just making fun of me or what have you. Why is the Empress here in reverse? You just may feel very let down by this person. Oh, look at that. Seven of Swords with the Two of Cups. This person deceived them. If they're dealing with an Empress figure, a mother figure, baby mama, baby daddy, whoever, they could be stealing from them. And they may have lied to them a lot about the fact of, you know, we have this loving relationship together. You know, we are this power couple. Things are amazing between us. But it's potentially it could just be all lust, all passion um and not much else yeah look at that lots of gossip and heartache it could just be all that but potentially this other person may be deceiving them that they've actually got a union with another partner elsewhere that they're being um that they're that they're um having relations with or whatever you want to call it um and there's going to be a lot of gossip about it Anyway, guys, so I'm going to pull from the Soulmates and Separation. Let's see what messages we get here for you guys. I listened to the wrong people. They were wrong about you. All those secrets I kept caught up with me, each and every last one of them. And one more. Two more. My pride and ego led us astray. Deliver me from temptation. Interesting. Bo bottom of the deck, I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and warm embrace. Well, they definitely may not be having that with this other person. They may not be. I struggle to reveal my true emotions and feelings. Okay. Anyway, guys, so, I mean, that was a bit of a complicated reading, but I hope that you have enjoyed it anyway. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it and we'll hopefully speak to you again next time. So take care. Bye for now.